Hey guys, Mandy Roscoe here and I just wanted to show off the pillow and the bag that I just got in. And I just wanted to show a video kind of showing what they look like me because I think I can show it off a little bit better and just kind of compare the two. So I'm just going to put you right here. Yeah, it's not going to work out so well. But just to give you an idea, here's the pillow. She's so cute. I got a pink backing on her. And here's the bag. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought this was going to be just like a little hip bag, but yeah, you can almost use this as a tote in a reader giveaway or at a conference or something. And on the bag, I'm actually really pleased. The ink or the design or however it is that they do that, it went on there really nicely. Like, check that out. Um, <laughs> the ears don't look so great, I'm not too happy with that, but that's that's me. It's my shit drawing skills instead of uh, anything that they did, but it's the colors on there really nicely. I'm not scared that it's gonna come off. Like it actually looks like it's part of the design. Kinda like in any other, you know, pillow that you probably buy, like like this pillow here. Which is what I'm going to show you when it comes to this. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but you know, I have my follow your dreams pillow, I have my little owl pillow. I didn't design either of these two. These I got from Ikea or Winners or something. But if you look, if you buy pillows like this, you know, you can scratch them off and, you know, the color is not going to come off. Which is weird because I don't know if you're going to be able to see that at all. It's, su it's such a tiny thing. Um, they're like little wee specks and I'm just going to see if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. So there's a tiny little speck right there, not on the black of her eyelashes there, but because that was on purpose, I put those there, but just above, right beneath my finger, that little white spot that shouldn't be there. And when I look closely at it, it almost looks like the color flaked off, which is weird. And you can see that's about to happen as well in um, kind of on her leg here. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see this tiny, tiny bump. And it looks like if I scratch that enough, it'll flake off, which is kind of weird and slightly disappointing. You can see it on her hair too. Um, another tiny, tiny bump. Yeah, there you go. Uh, as I don't know if you could see that, but it's right under my finger. And it looks like if I scratch that hard enough, again, the color will come off. And I'm not so sure why that is, because I'm not seeing any of that on the bag. Um, I still love the pillow. I'm still keeping the pillow. Um, now that I can see her, uh, not on a computer screen, I'm really enjoying her. She's staying on my bed, it's so cute. And I can't even believe I actually drew that out, I'm actually really proud of myself on that. But yeah, the bag itself, I can scratch it a little bit, the color's there, it's, it's on there. Um, so there's no problem here. So I'm not sure what happened, maybe I just got a little defective pillow, but I'm still gonna keep it. But yeah. A little bit just came off there, I don't know. Um, yeah, there you go. Right there. So I'm not sure why that's happening, if it's just a defective pillow, because the bag is perfectly fine. You're not seeing that problem here at all. And I'll, actually, I wonder if there's a problem with... Yeah, even the pink on the back. See? Right there, and... Just tiny, tiny little wee dots, as if the color didn't settle quite right. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I ordered a mug too, it didn't come in, I ordered two mugs actually, one for a reader to give away and one's for my mother, and the w I could have swore that I ordered one to come with this one, so if it doesn't come in by Friday or something, I'll email them and ask what's going on, ask them to send me another one, because I'm kind of curious to see how the color will turn out on that, but uh, these came from Zazzle, and actually it's funny here, on the design you can see this is my fault, uh, because I didn't... I didn't get rid of the white layer before I put in this cute little sparkly background. So I'm kind of stuck with this bit here. So that's, this isn't Zazzle doing that. This is this is my fault from when I was drawing the thing out. Uh, I'll have to see if I could fix that or just remember not to do that next time I'm when I'm drawing out my little alpha male instead of just my cute little girl. Um, or I could go in with an eraser and see if I could just erase all around this since my signature and the flowers, everything else is on a different layer, so that shouldn't be too much of a big deal, but if anybody notices that, that 
it's on here too. Yeah, so that's that's my fault. This Zazzle didn't do that. But I might see if I could find another company to do this for me. Like, if anybody watches this and they happen to know of a, a place that does t-shirts, um, mugs, bags, pillows too, especially pillows. I actually love this pillow. If anybody knows of any place other than Zazzle that's really good and maybe a little bit cheaper, then I'd love to hear it. It's just so I could also compare the qualities between the two companies. Yeah, but really happy with the bag so far. I'm going to fill this one up with books and some other various bits of swag that I can collect from the book signings that I go to and whatnot and raffle it off to a reader on my newsletter list. Same thing with the mug, I'm going to do that. But yeah, I would love to know if anybody knows of any other places that does high quality t-shirts, mugs, pillows, that sort of thing for a decent price. Or even if just they're kind of a higher quality than Zazzle altogether because I noticed that the the, um, you know, you have your shirt here. The area where you could print the image was very small compared to where I've seen it on some other places, but people who sell their own designs tend to personalize their website names. You don't, you don't actually see the name of the company they're using. It's not, you know, zazzle.mandyroscoe.com. That's not how it works there. It's just their name.com and it leads them to their store. So I'm having a hard time figuring out who they're using whenever I do see these things from time to time and the places I have found don't really do pillows that I've seen, they tend to do hats, um, hoodies, that sort of thing. Whereas Zazzle seems to do a little bit of everything. Yeah, if anybody knows of any other place that does pillows, shirts, bags, that sort of thing. I know Cafe Press does it, um, I'll have to check them out later. But any anywhere other than that, I'd love to know. I, I will be keeping this pillow and I'm gonna remember to not do this when I'm doing up the design next time for the alpha male. Just wanted to show these off and show what readers are getting and eventually the mug when it comes in. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.